Yo, 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 what up, it's JSF, and today I want to do a guide for the character that I've been playing the most in Mortal Kombat 1. Um, I wanted to do this a few days ago, but I've been a little bit busy, and that is your boy, Young Sizoth. This character is really cool, really fun. This is my favorite character to play in this game, for sure. I think he's pretty good, too. I don't think he's, like, super, super top tier or anything, but I don't think he's bad at all. I think he's very capable, so if you're wondering if he's, like, low tier, for now, I don't think he's, like, trash or anything, but... I think he does well on his own, and I think cameos can enhance him and make him do some other things. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about how to play Reptile today. Um, just a couple of things, in case some people are brand new to fighting games or NRS games and want to understand notation. <clears throat> so, front punch, back punch, front kick, back kick, right? One, two, three, four. So, front punch is one, back punch is two. Uh, front kick is three, back kick is four. So you'll hear me say down one, down two, back, uh, back three. Like that's what I mean with those buttons, notations. And if you're wondering about like safe, unsafe moves, safe on block would mean it's generally minus seven or more. So let me find some. See how this says block advantage at the bottom left minus six. That means there's nothing in the game that can punish me because the fastest button is six frames. <clears throat> if you had a six frame special move in theory, but I, that doesn't exist um, Something like this minus 30 s s This means anything seven frames or faster like this can punish it, right? Just just basic stuff. So if I say something safe, that means if you do it, you can't get punished <clears throat> for example um, If something is unsafe right like this and I'm holding I'm gonna do this and hold block boom I'm gonna get punished so if I ever mention something being safe, punishable, stuff like that, I don't think Reptile has anything that's plus on block, meaning after you do it, it's still your turn. So I don't really need to go over that. But anyway, <clears throat> let's talk about Reptile. Let's talk about um, the general game plan with Reptile and some of his normal, some specials, some basic combos, and then like maybe some cameo stuff. What, what makes him look pretty good? So Reptile is not like a full screen zoner, obviously, because look, his force ball even does not go full screen, his ass is fit, doesn't go full screen, even if you EX it. If you EX force ball, he has a slow, medium, fast force ball. It does go full screen, but that's it. Um, he's not super rushed down either. Um, he does have some mix. He has an overhead, he has a low. So he has some degree of mix, but I think his game plan, he's best around this range, like where ass is fit will reach, boom. Like right around this range. If they get a little froggy, try to jump around, you can ass it spit. You got force balls, you got a uh, forward three, you got back three, you got some buttons in that range. And um, what's good about Reptile is like you can kind of play the mix up game. This is an overhead, boom, this is an overhead. Then you get them to want to stand block or not cross block, then you hit them up with the low. Or you get them to want to armor or something and get out of the situation, you just back off a little bit. And then if they do nothing, that's totally fine because you just move out of the way and if they press anything, boom, boom. So he's really good around this range, like kind of pestering and pressuring uh, your opponent until they do something stupid around this range <clears throat> or using some kind of zoning because his force ball is launch. But let's talk about his normals before we get into all that. Down one, stand one, standard stuff. Stand two is actually really good. This button's got way more range than it should have. Um, this standing three is a really good button. I don't use it enough and I know I don't use it enough. It's a high, but look at the range. It can hit from about this far. And if you play the right cameo, if you play the right cameo, you can get a full combo off of it, which is pretty crazy to think about. But if you play the right cameo, you can get a combo off basically anything on Reptile. Like this is 2-4, and it's a, it goes into this big ass sweep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is really cool. So he's got, he's got a lot of stuff like that. I think his best button is his back three. There's this low starter that goes into back three one. You, this is hit confirmable and safe up to this point. And then you can go into, you know, whatever you want to go into. This button is also good. Forward three. 14 frames. Really good range. Look at this range. You can go into this. Again, confirmable one to whatever. And then it also has another ender. It also has another ender. Which you can use to go into certain special moves. Now, this looks like a restand, but it's not. It's just a combo ender. You can go into, you know, certain special moves, like his Gator Roll. You can go into Invisibility. Um, but you can't go into... The timing's a little awkward, yeah. But you can't go into everything, but that that's pretty good. His Sweep's pretty good. 
this is his 12 frame mid so he's got this is his fastest mid which the, the range is kind of ass but it's good to have this mid he's got he's got two three and four two three they do the same thing um i wouldn't do these on block because they're unsafe but they're good for like combo extensions and stuff like that right you know just general basic combo stuff so you can get some some good stuff off of that his stand four this button is so weird because it's a really good anti-air but it's just not that active, I guess, is the issue. So it's a lot of times for me, I'll be trying to do this in a, in a little whiff. But it, when you can land it, it's a really good anti-air. It's really, really good. It doesn't look like much, but it's a better anti-air than his down two, believe it or not. So ideally, you would want an anti-air if your opponent jumps at you. If your opponent jumps at you, you want an anti-air with this. See, if you're a little early, you'll just whiff. But if you're on time, you want to add tire with this. Like, 100%. So, if that's what that button is really good for. <clears throat> um, I do want to talk about some of the special moves. Obviously, I've shown, like, he's got his acid spit. Um, it doesn't seem that great at, at first glance, but I think the purpose of this move is to use when you're not comfortable throwing out your force balls. So, Reptile has three force balls, right? He has slow, medium, fast, back, neutral and forward is how you do them and they're also close medium and far so the close force ball is the slow one but it doesn't go fucking anywhere the medium one is the medium speed and it goes medium distance the fast one goes fast and goes almost full screen so from here it'll hit but not from exactly full screen if you ex it you can do any one of them this is ex slow force ball goes full screen right E EX regular still goes full screen. EX fast obviously goes full screen. And if you EX force ball, so the cool thing about force balls, you can do multiple in a combo. You get you get two force balls per combo, right? <clears throat> but you can't do uh you can't do two of the same. So if I if I want to do fast if I do fast force ball. And try to do it again, the combo will drop. He will f just float out of it. So you have to do like fast and then regular, or like slow and then regular, something like that. And you can only get three if you spin meter. I don't think it's worth it to spin meter like that, but if you ever want to, or if you see people do like four force balls in a combo, that's how they're doing it. So force ball, you can use in neutral as a projectile because it's a mid, they can't duck it. But just be weary about it because this shit has a lot of recovery, right? Look, 64 recovery frames, right? Sometimes it shows you, sometimes it doesn't. It says 33 recovery frames that time, 46 recovery that time. Like, it just has a lot of recovery. Whereas if you do acid spit, 22 recovery. Like, it just doesn't generally have that much recovery. It, that's the point of this. I think you do acid spit if you're around this range. If you anticipate them trying to jump because they think you're going to do a force ball. Because you would think they jump and you do, like, close force ball. It'll hit them. It, it won't hit them. It'll just whiff and you'll die. But if you do acid spit, it can catch them going up or coming down, especially if you enhance it. So it's pretty good for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Then he has Reptile still has a slide. You know, he always has a slide. But his slide is a gator roll this time. It's very, very slow on startup. I don't know why, but it goes really far. It doesn't go full screen, but it goes really far, and it low profiles a lot of, like, projectiles and certain moves. It is his armored reversal as well, so it's really good for that sort of thing. Um, if you ever end your combos in this stream, you can go into that. That's, like, the best damage ender for if you go for this ender. Um, he has a sky drop, down back four in the air. You can instant air this, instant air overhead. You can do jump in into this. You can do double overhead. Kind of gimmicky. If you land a jump kick, you can go into this. Or jump kick, gator roll. You know. Um, this move is like overhead sky drop. It's a good combo under. It's not tracking, as you can see. It does not track. From this, about this range, you can hit. But if you go any further back, you will whiff. It has a regular version and a close version for some reason. No far version. So if you're this far away, you can't you can't hit them with it. So like the cool thing is like if you ever just like moving around in neutral or you jump and then they like whiff Serena cameo or something. Like if I were to just set if I were to just set the mandem here. Why is he jumping? 
<laughs> Set the man down here and just boom, Serena says. I'm minding my business. Oh, you called Serena? Boom, punish, right? I got hit a little bit, but so what? Right? So, like, if you just see something like that, I, I was a little too late. Boom. So, it, it's good for stuff like that. But it's really just his, uh, it's really just his combo ender. Like, it's his best combo ender as far as I know. Like, I get pretty good damage going for that ender. Look, 28% is a super basic combo. One force ball. Obviously, you can do more than that. <clears throat> But that's what I use it for mostly, and then in neutral, when somebody's getting froggy and just not respecting me and just doing shit, <clears throat> or like they call a cameo, a summon cameo from like full, from like not full screen but far distances, I'm like, bro, I can just stomp you. So that move is good for that. I believe that's all his special moves except oh dash attack. I almost forgot about this. So this move is really fast. It's ten frames. It's a mid hitting special move, right? It is unsafe on block. So this is good if the if you need a quick punish for something. You don't know, like, you know how sometimes you grab somebody if you believe they did something unsafe or you believe it's your turn, you just go for a grab. This is probably a little better than that. Nah, it does less damage. This is worse. So that's why I'm like, this move I don't use very much. I, I will probably use it in the sense of I landed a hit from full screen. I want to run in and follow up the combo type. You know, type situation, if you got a freeze assist, like Frost or something like that, or Sub-Zero, or Cyrax Net, stuff like that, um, you can do the EX version, which is safe on block, minus five, safe to everything in the game, but there's a gap right here, so if your opponent ever wants to just blow you up for this, if they ever want to just say, oh, hey, I know you, I see you did enhance, what you call it, I'm gonna do that, you know what I mean, so just keep that in mind. It has some uses. If you play the right cameo, you can make it a true block string with this move. So it has some uses, and it is fast. You can check people with it anything in front of you, you know. But you don't get much damage off of it, so it's not amazing. It's one of his not-so-great special moves, something that I wouldn't worry too much about. Just let it come to you when it comes to you. Um, the last special move is his invisibility, and I think this move is kind of trash. It's kind of cheeks. So you're invisible for like five seconds. If you EX invisibility, it's the same thing. It doesn't have less startup. It doesn't have longer invisibility. You don't get invisible faster. It literally seems like it does nothing unless it has a hidden effect that nobody knows about. Um, the only way to really get invisibility on, because it has so much startup, right? 55 frames. There's 60 frames in a second. So it takes about a second for this to activate, and that's a long time in fighting games. The only way I could see actually getting this in a match is doing something like this because then you can activate for free right there you're pretty safe and you get to go for one mix-up and now we got to talk about reptiles mix-ups that's why i waited so he has a low starter right back three really really good this i would say is his best button four three is really good stand three is really good his kick buttons are pretty good, um, but this is his best because it's a low starter, 16 frames, has really good range, hit confirmable, go into shit, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Confirmable, um, but then he has this overhead, right, back to not reactable, 19 frames, right? Sure, a couple of people can react, but very, very few will be able to react. Well, nobody's going to be able to react to this online at all, it's not possible. Um, offline, real life, if they know it's coming, a few people, but 99.8% of the world can't react. Um, but you don't get anything off of it. <clears throat> and it's unsafe on block. So you got to be careful doing this. Minus 12, minus 13. Um, you can charge this normal up a little bit. Now it's 32 frame side, but it's minus 7. Safe against every character except for Kung Lao and uh, Liu Kang, right? Charge it all the way. It's minus three. Push back. Very safe. But a shit ton of startup at 46 frames. The good part about this is it launches for a full combo now. Now, regular Reptile doesn't get too much off of this. Right? But if you play, uh, if you play the right cameo, you know, you can get a full combo. It doesn't have to be Scorpion. I just have him here as an example of what's possible. He's one of the cameos I think Reptile works really well with. Um, Reptile's back throw, not the greatest back throw, and if you don't, if you can't tell why, it's because it's, it's not super easy to combo off of with a cameo, right? Some characters, it's really easy for them to combo into, uh, off of their throw, 
See, like Reptile has to get knocked down to get that pop up. It is possible to combo off Reptile's back throw. I've seen it. I've been able to do it with like Darius in the corner, but it's not reliable and not realistic. Whereas if you're playing certain characters like Liu Kang or Raiden, it's just free 100% of the time. You can very easily get it. So in case y'all are wondering about that, um, what, let's see, I went over his game plan, his mix-ups. I, I, I do think his overhead is good, even though this is punishable. I think it's good to pester people. You know, you, you make them want to do something else. You make them either want to crouch or stand block if you keep doing this on a knockdown you make them want a delayed wake up you make them want a reversal armor reversal and you block it and punish it so it, it's good for that sort of thing but his mix-up isn't great like he isn't gonna 50 50 and do 30 percent off each layer of the 50 50 that's not his gameplay one cute little ghetto ghetto mix-up i like with reptile i don't use it that much because i haven't played scorpion a bit is so he has a string back three one but you can go back three one three the last hit of the string is unsafe but you can call Scorpion and get a full combo off of it. If I am not trash. If I'm not trash, I can get this. Well, I'm fucking it up. But. I'm fucking it up. But as you can see, you, you can launch off of this and get more damage off of that. Um, which is pretty cool. So that's the low option, right? Because this part is a low. You can also just call Scorpion and go for this overhead. So if they're reacting to the Scorpion call and saying, oh, he's going to go low because he's calling Scorpion. You can also do the same thing and then just go for the overhead. And obviously, the overhead, you know, you can combo off of. So that's a ghetto reset with Scorpion. Uh, with Serena cameo is the other cameo I have on the screen. If you've been playing this game, I don't think I need to go over Serena much because she's just the all-purpose, very easy, free-form cameo. Like, you don't even need to think. Like, you can literally just, this is back three one, dash up, back three one, Serena. Uh-uh, this is like a B and B I use a lot. 42%, bro, no meter. 42% off a low starter, and you can like shimmy with punish. Uh, uh, boom into 42 percent like it's pretty insane and this is why everybody uses serena just because it's so easy to just get a ton of damage and her cameo comes back super fast like even if i use her twice like you just got off the ground and her cameo is halfway back right and i use two you know what I mean? Like, it'll be back super fast. And if you only use one, you don't need to use both. So, like, her cameo regenerates really, really fast. The damage doesn't really scale at all. It's a full screen projectile. Um, one thing people will try to do a Reptile, or just any character, really, is they'll try to do, like, block string to Serena, like, on block. Right? And I'm sure you know you can poke someone out of this. But you can also just gator roll to punish it. I fucked that one up. You can down two from certain ranges. You can literally jump out of it. So like when people do like block string to Serena or if you do a reptile, just know that it's fake. Um, so some people are gonna respect it because they're afraid you're gonna do something else. But just, just know that it's not real pressure. <clears throat> but yeah, that's Reptile in a nutshell. There's a couple more cameos I think he can work well with, like Cyrax, uh, Darius, Sub-Zero. Cameos he can do pretty good stuff with. Um, it's more about what you want to do with the character, right? With Scorpion, if I want to combo off literally everything, you know what I mean? If I want to just combo off everything all the time, I can use Scorpion. I get this overhead assist, which is like, you know kind of a mix up this tool but it's really about having this assist and then the get over here assist <clears throat> so there aren't really any good um reversal cameos in this game right and reptiles wake up his ex gator roll is really really slow for reference it's 21 frames sub-zero slide is 14 frames scorpion slide is 13 frames so he has a slower uh wake up so i like this is scorpion's wake up because if I were to set my opponent 
I'll set uh, this reptile to wake up and get over here, right? So I'll knock him down. Right? Kind of get you out of the paint real easy. It's not 100% foolproof. Like, there's some characters that have quick double-hitting uh, normal strings that can get them. But a lot of the times, this is really good. And the thing is, if you pair this option with EX Gator Roll, with, del with Delay Wake Up, with Jumping on Wake Up, it'll be harder to predict what you do on Wake Up. So I think Scorpion's Wake Up is super slept on right now. Like I said, it's not frame one perfect. Like, it's not frame one armor. It's not perfect. But it's very close and it's multiple. Once they activate the armor, it's multiple hits of armor. Like, it's hard to show with Reptile, but yeah, it's not easy to stuff all the time consistently. You need to have a setup for it. And again, Serena, you already know the vibes with Serena. Something else that's really good with Serena, if you're having a hard time opening somebody up, you can just call Serena Meter Drain. If they're like zoning you, right? Because your force balls don't go full screen. So they're like, haha, I'm going to zone you out. Bet. Call Serena. Now they're either going to lose their meter or they're going to move. And if they try to jump or something, hit them with a force ball. You know, go for your 2-3-3 two, two, three, three combo in the air. And then Gator Roll and, you know, do your thing. So, yeah, that's basically Reptile in a nutshell, man. Very cool character. Very fun character. Good mid-range. Decent zoning. Some degree of mix-ups. He's got a little bit of everything. He, he kind of reminds me of, like, a, a well-rounded kind of Jack of All Trades character. But he can be pesky, he can do he can be tricky. It depends how you want to play him, what cameos you want to use with him. <clears throat> um, like if you're getting zoned out a lot, I would pick Sub Zero cameo. You can try Motaro, but Motaro takes your health away. Um, another thing just to note, a general thing, if you look at these two characters on the screen, they have different amounts of health. So Reptile Scorpion is a thousand health, Reptile Serena is ten fifty. Serena Serena gives you fifty health and Scorpion doesn't give you any. Which I don't understand, but <laughs> just something else to think about when you're deciding what cameo you want to pick. But uh, yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all. I think I'm going to learn a few characters now. I might learn Smoke. I might learn Rain. I like the ninjas, if you can't tell. I might learn Raiden. Raiden looks interesting. I might learn Kung Lao because he's super good. He's ridiculous in this game. Um, but yeah, man, that's all I got. If y'all like the video, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. I'm going to do a ton of of mk1 content if y'all want to see a character guide on another character just let me know i can learn any character in a couple of days and do a guide so if there's demand for it people are like yo do this character do this character i got you and i can go more in depth if y'all really want me to but i want this to kind of be like a beginner guide beginner to intermediate this isn't like the super advanced shit it's just like stuff for you to think about so i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here y'all stay safe jsf i'm out of peace